Water is flowing into a tank. The table shows the rate at which the water flows in gallons per minute. The tank starts with 10 gallons of water in it before the faucet was turned on. Notice how we have the time every 0.5 minutes and we have the corresponding flow rate. We're told to use the information in this problem to determine the amount of water in the tank after the first three minutes have passed. Part A, we're asked to calculate the amount of water in the tank using left approximating rectangles. Part B, we're asked to use right approximating rectangles. And then part C, we're asked to use parts A and B for the most accurate answer. The first step is to plot the data in the table as ordered pairs on the coordinate plane. And I've already done this to save time. The first order pair of 0, 0, 0.4 indicates at the time of zero minutes, the flow rate is 0 0.4 gallons per minute. The second order pair indicates at 0 0.5 minutes, the flow rate is 1.2 gallons per minute, and so on. Because we're concerned about the water after the first three minutes, let's mark off the interval from zero to three minutes. Well, zero minutes is here, and three minutes is here. We need to be careful not to use this last point that goes out to 3.5 minutes. Next, because we have the flow rates every 0 0.5 minutes, we will mark off subintervals every 0 0.5 minutes. Now that we have our subintervals, we will form rectangles where the height of each rectangle will be determined by the point on the left because we're using left approximating rectangles, which means for the first subinterval, the height is going to be from the point on the left, and therefore the height is going to be 0 0.4. This is the first left approximating rectangle. For the next subinterval, again, the point on the left determines the height of the rectangle, which is 1.2. For the next subinterval, the point on the left will give us the height, which is 1.5, and so on. For the fourth rectangle, the height will be 2.1. For the fifth rectangle, the height will be 2.8. And for the final sixth rectangle, the height will be, from the point on the left, the height is 3.5. Let's go ahead and shade the area of the rectangles. Notice to find the area of each rectangle, we are going to multiply the width, which is the time in minutes, by the height, which is the flow rate in gallons per minute, and minutes times gallons per minute gives us gallons, the amount of water added to the tank over that subinterval of time. So to find the amount of water in the tank using left approximating rectangles, remember the tank starts with 10 gallons. We begin with 10, and then we're going to add the area of the six rectangles to determine the extra water added to the tank. But because all the rectangles have a width of 0 0.5 minutes, Let's write this as 10 plus 0 0.5 times the quantity, where in the parentheses we will have the height of each rectangle. The area of the first rectangle is 0 0.5, the width, times the height of 0 0.4, and then plus the area of the second rectangle is 0 0.5, the width, times the height of 1.2. Notice if we distribute, we do have 0 0.5 times 1.2 plus the area of the third rectangle is 0 0.5 times the height of 1.5, plus the area of the fourth rectangle is 0 0.5 times the height of 2.1, plus the area of the fifth rectangle is 0 0.5 times the height of 2.8, and then finally for the sixth rectangle, the area is 0 0.5 times the height of 3.5. Again, if we distribute the 0 0.5, we do have the width times the height of each of the six rectangles. And now we go ahead and simplify. This simplifies to 10 plus 0 0.5 times the sum in the parentheses is 11.5, resulting in 15.75, and again, the units here are gallons. So going back to the first slide, the amount of water in the tank using left approximating rectangles is 15.75 gallons. And now we're going to do a similar process, but now use the right approximating rectangles. So again, we mark off the interval from zero to three minutes. And then mark off the subintervals every 0 0.5 minutes. The only difference now is we are going to use the point on the right of each subinterval 
to determine the height of each rectangle. So for this first subinterval, the height is going to be 1.2 from the point on the right. For the second subinterval, the height of the rectangle is going to be 1.5 from the point on the right. For the third rectangle, the height is going to be 2.1 from the point on the right. For the fourth rectangle, the height is 2.8. For the fifth rectangle, the height is 3.5. And for the sixth rectangle, the height is 4.4, again from the point on the right. Once again, let's shade the areas. The area of these six rectangles represents the additional water added to the tank. Again, remember the tank starts with 10 gallons. So using the right approximating rectangles, the amount of water in the tank after three minutes is going to be 10 plus the area of the rectangles. And again, all the widths are 0 0.5. So we have 0 0.5 times the sum of the heights. The area of the first rectangle is 0 0.5 times 1.2 plus. For the second rectangle, the area is 0 0.5 times 1.5. Plus for the third rectangle, the area is 0 0.5 times 2.1. Plus for the fourth rectangle, the area is 0 0.5 times 2.8. Plus for the fifth rectangle, the area is 0 0.5 times 3.5. And then finally for the sixth rectangle, the area is 0 0.5 times the height of 4.4. Simplifying, we have 10 plus 0 0.5 times the sum in the parentheses which this time is 15.5. And 10 plus 0 0.5 times 15.5 is 17.75. And again, the units here are gallons. Let's record this on the first slide. So using the right-sided rectangles, the amount of water in the tank is 17.75 gallons. Because the flow rate is increasing over this time interval, the left approximating rectangles is an underestimate of the amount of water in the tank, and the right approximating rectangles is an overestimate of the amount of water in the tank. So for part C, for the most accurate answer, we will take the average of these two amounts, meaning we'll sum them and divide by two. The sum of 15.75 and 17.75 divided by two is equal to 16.75. So for the most accurate answer, we will estimate 16.75 gallons of water in the tank after the first three minutes. I hope you found this helpful.